I bought my friend an elephant for his room. He said, thanks. I said, don't mention it. Mike with Iceberg Gaming here, and as promised, this is the video where I am going to go over some items that you need to stockpile before Mage Tower comes out on April 12th. Now we're going to be stockpiling these things mostly to, well, not mostly, but to craft and to sell the materials. Both the materials and the stuff we're going to craft with them is going to rise. The price is going to rise dramatically when Mage Tower starts. So you want to have these materials on hand and ready to go right away. Now you can do this either via buying them on the auction house while now while the price is low or farming them up. I have farms up on my channel for the best place to get most of these items, so I will link those in the description when appropriate. And without further ado, these are the main items that I am stockpiling prior to the Mage Tower. We've got Wind Wheel... Whoop. Wind will wind wool cloth for Pandar Pandaria tailoring. We're going to be using this to craft bolts of cloth, which we will turn into gear and sell that gear, mostly the crafted dreadful gladiator pieces. Next up, we've got Mysterious Essence. This is the Pandaria enchanting material, as well as the Spirit Dust. These are the two Pandaria enchanting materials. And Pandaria enchantments sell for quite a bit during Mage Tower. Next up is Exotic Leather. This is the Pandaria Leather. This item is used to craft the crafted Dreadful Gladiator Leatherworking Gear. And the price of the leather itself will rise dramatically during Mage Tower as well. I have a couple different farms up on the channel for this. And uh, you can also use your... Pandara from Pandaria Farm, the Tiller's Farm. Same for Ghost Iron Ore. This is going to be used for the blacksmithing crafted Dreadful Gladiator gear. I have a farm up for a dual gathering for this one, as well as the Tiller's Farm for this one too. And last but certainly not least, the only item not from the Tiller's Farm is Crimson Spinal. Now this is an Outland epic gem that you get from mostly from outland raids uh i tend to farm mine in uh hygel and this item you can craft into bold crimson spinals for quite a bit of gold or sell it as is i have a video up for this on the channel as well the crimson spinal is kind of the cheaper version of the queen's garnet so if you're feeling a little more risky you can go for the queen's garnet you can farm these up in deathwing the, uh, the Deathwing Raid, or you can buy them on the auction house and cut them and sell them. Right now, there is a several thousand gold profit to be made with just flipping these by buying them and then cutting them and selling them, and that will probably rise once Legion Time Walking comes out, because these are pretty much the best item to use for your Legion Time Walking gear. Do you have anything you are stockpiling before the Mage Tower? Let me know in the comment section, and let's get rich.